This is Aya. I'm from uh, the community team. Uh, so uh, for Moodle.org, we had uh, two fixes, the sprint. Uh, one of them was the drawer uh, toggle icon. It was overriding some text. So this is now fixed on production. Uh, the other change is that we now have a new photo for the MUA banner. Uh, it's not yet deployed as we're still uh, trying to make it uh, look the best on the banner. Uh, so these are the two changes that happen in Moodle.org this sprint. Over to you back already. Uh, can we have the next slide? And I'll pass over to Federico on this. Uh, hello, I'm Federico. I'm the UX designer from the Moodle community team. Uh, this in, for this spring, we were working in, in as early said before, in some workshops with members, with uh, plugin uh, developers from the community. Uh, it was an amazing and a lot of piece of work because we run four workshops uh, when we bring some of the problems that they were having with the plugin directory. And we make some votations. And then we, from the most loaded problems, we bring some of the solutions that they wanted maybe to share with us. So uh, it helps to the brainstorming before. And then I worked with Arlie and Carly and also Victor and Aya as a more technical part uh, on bringing those problems and, and grouping them and making sense of all this information. So um, for, for the next steps, uh, we want to have, as you see in the image below, uh, is we put it a graph to see how we can have the most impact possible in the most in the easiest way possible. So um, definitely a lot of these solutions are really broad, but we want to um, make a clear focus and define them in a really clear way so we can actually have a um, um, yeah, impactful experience inside of the plugin directory, but being sure that this is the solutions that the, that the users, oops, sorry, the users uh, really want to have. So we will validate with them and continue in the process to be sure that, um, that our work is, 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 um, is worth implementation. So we are not, uh, making the experience worse. Some solutions were super clear and they have been there for some time. And some of the community members, they help us to set as clear that, but some of them um, we want to explore a bit more so we can bring a uh, much better experience for the developer that is updating plugins and from the users that they want to install plugins from the plugins directory. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of work. Thank you. Thank you, Federico. Uh, next slide, please. I'll try and keep it short to leave as much time as possible for the next team. Uh, <clears throat> so what we've done as well this sprint uh, was to upgrade all our community sites to the minor version and Moodle Association site, uh, Moodle's Association site to the minor version. Uh, next slide. Uh, so this I'm going to read because this is not my specialty and, and Victor's on leave, but basically this is what's been done so far on the server migration uh, from uh, the download site. Uh, if you're interested, uh, there's the epic number on, this, on the slide and we've got also the work in progress there. Um, so in the diagram, uh, diagram above at the top, the current status, the code packing and Moodle instance in the, uh, in the same server as Etzner, it's a Moodle 3.5 and can't be upgraded because it's an old server. It's the only site not hosted in a Kubernetes infra infrastructure. And in the diagram below, which is what we're moving to, uh, we've got a new architecture, one server only to create and share the packages uh, and the Moodle instance and the APIs in the Kubernetes infrastructure. We will store the packages in the Hetzner because of the high data transfer cost download for AWS. Um, the other thing that has been done, as the screenshot shows here, we're also working on making sure the theme from Moodle.org, the customized theme, is also applied to the download site. Uh, so it's the only site currently that hasn't got the same look and feel as the other Moodle community sites. So today I'm going to show you uh, the filter filterable uh, events plugin that we were working on on uh, Moodle Academy. Uh, basically, the plugin purpose is uh, to enable the users to uh, filter events by their own spoken language or a certain host they are looking for or maybe inside a certain course. I will share my screen and show you super quickly a demo. So basically, the plugin is using a lot of the core calendar Moodle code. Uh, it's similar in a lot of aspects, uh, except that we are uh, enabling uh, some custom fields on the events and so that the user can look for events. Uh, so basically, the plugin starts here in the homepage of Academy site. 
uh, we have the upcoming filterable events plugin that is showing the most recent events that are going to happen. The only difference is that we are prioritizing these events by the host, which is Moodle Academy in this case. And then when you go to the <clears throat> main plugin page, you can see it's the same layout as the calendar. The only difference is that we have a filters um, component here. Uh, where you can filter by uh, certain things and these things are fetching from uh, custom fields so the new events that we have created is uh, has its own custom fields uh, where you can dynamically add a new one here and it will automatically be appended uh, in the filters form where you can uh, filter all the events by these information and uh, we have created uh, as i told you we have created a new instance or a new event type uh, it's it's not related to the core calendar event um, and it has its own custom fields and everything. Uh, we also have a past events view where you can view the events that have already passed. And uh, we are planning to add here like a show recording uh, button uh, to be able to see the, the event uh, recording or the session recording after it has been done. Um, and the monthly and the uh, views are basically the same as the calendar nothing new here um the only um the only thing i want to add is that uh, this uh, moodle academy is based on moodle workplace as you know and uh, whenever an, a new appointment session is created uh we we trigger and uh, we observe the event of creating a new session to add uh, the session as uh, a filterable event so people can also filter by it and search for them and for example a search uh, a certain uh, course that they would like to see the events that are happening in this course and yeah that's basically it